All right, so welcome to this week. We are going to be learning how to multiply. We're going to be learning about multiplication. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to learn three different ways to solve multiplication problems. Uh, first, we are going to review some vocabulary. Then we're going to review what each number represents on a um, number sentence. And then we're going to get to the solving the problem, to the solving, to solving the problems, okay? All right, so the first thing that we are going to review is what does multiplication mean? I know everybody is thinking that right now, right? What does multiplication mean? So multiplication is an operation in which a number is added to itself several times. So for example, three plus three plus three would be three times three. Why? Because the number three is added three times, okay? So that's what multiplication is. Um, now let's review some vocabulary here. In a number sentence, this is a, a multiplication number sentence, we have two factors. This would be the first factor, and this would be the second factor. Okay, so the numbers that are being multiplied are called factors, the three and the six. The answer that we get after we multiply, so the response and the answer that we get after we multiply three times six, that would be called the product. Everybody say product. Now everybody say factors. Okay, so yes, the numbers that are being multiplied are called factors, and the answer that we get after we multiply is the product. Woo! Mucho caliente. Woo! Mucho caliente. Okay, so now we're going to review what each of these numbers represent. So the first factor that we have here, the first factor that we have represents the total, total number of groups. Okay? It represents the total number of groups. So in this number sentence, we know that we are going to have three total groups, okay? The second factor in the number sentence represents the number of objects in each grupo, a group. So the second factor represents the total number of objects or things that are going to be inside each group, okay? So the first factor is the total number of groups, three groups, one, two, three. And the second factor is how many objects or how many things we are going to have in each group. So here, the first group will have six things, the second group will have six, and then the third group will have six, okay? And then the product is what we're going to find out, okay? Okay, sorry. All right, <laughs> so we are having some technical issues there. Okay, so I am going to show you guys three, three ways to solve multiplication problems. We are going to be working with three different ways to solve a multiplication problem. The first one is we are going to solve it using equal groups. Get excited! Woo! <laughs> The second way is we are going to be using arrays, not a ray, not a person that's called Ray, no, array, an array, okay? And then the last, um, manera, the last way that we're going to use is repeated addition, okay? So um, let's begin with the blue one, which is the equal groups. Uh, with equal groups, we have rows, with equal amounts, so the groups can be in rows, or groups with equal amounts, okay? So they can be grouped together. For the purpose of this anchor chart and for me teaching you, I'm going to use circles as the groups because with arrays, you'll see how we use the rows with arrays as well. Okay, so I hope you guys can see that well. So our number sentence is three times six equals. And remember, this is a factor and this is a factor, this tells me the total number of what? I can hear you, well, that's because nobody's here. <laughs> but anyway, three, the three tells us the total number of groups. So how many groups am I going to draw? 
If you said three, you're correcto. Yes, I'm going to draw three groups because the first factor tells me the total number of groups. So let me draw three groups. One, two, three. Those are my three groups, okay? I have drawn three groups. Now, the second factor, which is the number six, tells me the total number of objects inside each group. So, how many objects or how many little pictures am I going to draw inside each group? If you said six, you are correcto. Sorry, you guys saw my wrinkles, I'm getting old. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one group. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. That's another group. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. And that's another group, okay? So I have three total groups times six in each group, right? Now remember we said that multiplication meant. Multiplication means the same number added several times. So here, the number that we are going to add, now I, I wanna know how much I have in all, correct? So three times six, I want to count all of these to find the product. And remember what I said, that multiplication is an operation that requires you to add the same number several times to find the product. So the number that we're going to be adding several times would be six plus six plus six. So let's go ahead and do that so we can find the product. Ready? Everybody count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the product of three times six would be a <laughs> and that is with using equal groups okay guys so do you guys see how we used equal groups each one of these groups is equal that means that each one of them has the same amount inside each of the groups here we have six here we have six here we we have six they are equal groups and then what we did is we added them together because multiplication is an operation where we add the same number several times and we came up with the product of a team, okay? And that was using equal groups. Hey, high five. <laughs> oh, it's so recording. All right, you guys. So the next uh, format that we're going to use to solve multiplication problems is called arrays, okay? They're called arrays. An array is a straight row with equal amounts in them. So now, instead of doing equal groups, we are going to do straight rows, like baby shark, okay? Straight rows, straight rows um, with equal amounts. In this case, the three represents the total number of groups or the total number of rows. So we have the same equation. I wanted to keep the same equation just so I could show you all the different ways to get the same product, okay? So we have three times six equals. The first factor tells us the total number of groups or rows. So I know that I'm going to have three rows in this um, to, in this array, okay? So three total rows. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that using my handy dandy notebook. You guys know where that's from? Loose clues, maybe now. So we're going to try to make this Don't get mad, okay? They're not equal, but that's the rows, okay? All right, so I have three rows, one row, two row, three rows. Now, the second factor tells me how many will be in each row, which is six, the second factor. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. How many should go in this row? Well, that sounded aggressive, but I'm not mad, okay? <laughs> How many should go in this row? <laughs> if you said six, you are correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many should go in that last row? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six, correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. So there we have our representation using an array. I have three rows, one, two, three rows, times six in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, remember what multiplication means. Multiplication is an operation where we add the same number several times to find the product. So here we are going to add six, three times to find the product. I have one, two, three. Well, and remember when we're adding, we are joining. So when we're multiplying, we are also joining numbers together. Not separating, we are joining. So here we are going to join them by counting them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our product will be a team, just like it was when we used equal groups. All right, guys. And then finally, we are going to use repeated addition. Okay. So get excited for repeated addition. Sorry guys, it's a little late. I need to go get my markers. All right, so now we have repeated addition. Uh, with repeated addition is basically what we've been doing here. We've added six plus six plus six, six plus six plus six, and it gave us 18. But here, we're actually going to write out uh, the equation or the number sentence, if you will, of repeated addition, all right? Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so with repeated, repeated addition, the same number is added several times. So here, this number, the first factor, I'm sorry, is 3 again, and the second factor is 6. So let's go ahead and read the number sentence together. 3 times 6 equals... So in this case, the first factor, 3, tells us how many times we are going to repeat the number. And this is the number that we are going to read repeat okay so to solve this we have three times six that means that i'm going to repeat or add the number six three times tres veces el numero seis yeah. you get it you get it okay so no ouch okay sorry if you guys can only see my ganas so i'm going to put six plus six plus six equals because I am adding the number six three times, okay? Can you hear me? Okay, so I know that six plus six is 12, right? And then if I add 12 plus another six, that would be 18. So the product would be a <laughs> and these are the three different ways that we are going to be working with um, to solve multiplication situations. So, finally, the product for three times six, we found out that it is hey, too skinny. Like me. <laughs> oh, that looks more like me than the one. Um, but anyway, yeah, so these are the three different ways that we can use to solve multiplication situations. We have equal groups, stay, okay. we have equal groups, we have arrays, and we have repeated addition. There are other ways as well, but these are the ones that we are going to be working with this week, all right?